everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool glowing neon text effect like the effect that you're seeing right in front of you. So what you're going to be getting is you're going to be getting an effect sort of like this where you have the uh, text which is just the outline and it's glowing in a cool neon text fashion. So anyway, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool neon text effect like this right here. I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys how to make the wallpaper like the one behind me, but I might save that for another video. So if you guys want to go ahead and figure out how to make a wallpaper like this, then uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, leave a comment below if you want this. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and make this text effect. So anyway, before we go ahead and start to create the text effect, we're going to need to download one thing first. We are going to need to go ahead and download a font. Uh, you're going to need to go ahead and download them from here, which is shyfoundry.com slash fonts slash free slash sffforens.html. I'll just post the link in the description. As you see here, this font package comes with all of these different fonts right here. All you need to do is go down here and click on download true type version for Windows and OS X. Just go ahead and download the fonts from there and then go ahead and install them on your system. And then go ahead and launch up Adobe Photoshop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to file, create a new document, create the width and the height to whatever you want to. I'm going to be using 1280 by 800. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And uh, let's wait for that to load up. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to fill in the background color to black so we can see what we're doing. So now I'm going to go down here and create a new layer and grab my text tool. And it's taking a while to load up because I've got all these fonts installed. So I'm going to go up here once I have my fonts installed and I'm going to be using the font SF Current CS Outline or I don't know if I pronounced that right. Just go ahead and use this one right here or use any other one. It doesn't really matter. And just go ahead and type whatever you want to. So, so that's good. You notice it has just the outline. So just make sure the outline is white and the inside is black. And it should look a little something like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here into the Layers tab. And we're going to right click on that one and go to Blending Options. And then we're going to go ahead and add in an outer glow and make it to glow whatever color you want to. I'm going to be using a light blue for this. Just keep it like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that and go to duplicate layer. Click OK. Should look a little something like this. And just keep on doing that. Keep on duplicating the layer until it looks to your satisfaction. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the layer one more time. And it should look like this. So as you see, very, very simple. And so once that's done, what we want to do is um, we want to go ahead and just save the document. So I'm going to go up here to file say that but before we do that I'm gonna go ahead and make the background invisible so that we can go ahead and insert that into somewhere else so I'm gonna go up to file I'm gonna save it as I'm gonna save it as a uh, I'm gonna go neon and I'm gonna save it as a PNG so that we keep the background transparent I'll click save click OK and then we have our text saved so if we go over here to neon as you notice, it looks like that with the transparent background. And so you can go ahead and insert that into anything you want to. So if I wanted to go ahead and uh, under picture, so if I wanted to just say go to wallpapers, and let's say I wanted to insert that neon text into this uh, blue digital range here. So I go ahead and I'd open the picture that I wanted to insert the text in. And then I just also open up that neon text. And I just go ahead and I drag it in there. And as you notice, blue neon text inside of the background that we want to. And you can go ahead and do anything you want to with it. You can go ahead and add in reflections, you can go ahead and do anything else. But anyway, that is how to go ahead and create a cool neon text effect inside of Adobe Photoshop. This will work in Photoshop CS3, CS4, CS5, and pretty much any other version. So anyway, that's how to go ahead and create a neon text effect. If you guys want to go ahead and have a uh, wallpaper like this one, uh, if you guys want to make a wallpaper like this one, I'll show you guys. Just leave a comment down below to go ahead and uh, if you guys want to know how to do this wallpaper, I'll go ahead and make a tutorial about it. Just go ahead and leave a comment below. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.